welcome back to another video. So today I have two coloring books by Alina Lazareva and she was kind enough to send these to me so that I could share them with all of you. But we are going to do a flip through of both of these books today and take a look at the gorgeous images inside. Now if you're not familiar with Alina Lazareva, she does have some line art books and some grayscale books. So if you're interested in either one of these books, I will have them linked down in the description box below. I will also have links for my Facebook group, my email list, my Etsy shop, and my Patreon if you'd like to support me there. I also now have channel membership. If you would like to find more information out about that, you can click the join button down below the video. This first one, Victorian coloring book, is a line art coloring book. And the next one I'm going to share is the grayscale one. But just look at how gorgeous the cover of this book is. I love her artwork. If you are not familiar with Alina Lazareva, I have done a couple flip throughs on my channel of some of her other coloring books and I would be glad to link some of those in the upper right hand corner but this book is going to include two full sets and it has 22 illustrations and then at the back of the book we're going to find six pictures from some of her other coloring books and then down here it just gives you her website over here she tells a little bit about herself I am Alina Lazareva I'm an artist illustrator and designer I am an artist who loves too many things. I've been making art my whole life. Drawing has been a huge part of my life since childhood. I studied at the School of Art as an artist, always painting, drawing, on a computer, on ceramics, glass. I have been drawing coloring books for about five years. I have already drawn over 30 coloring books, so she does have quite a bit of coloring books that you can check out on Amazon if you'd like to. And if you would like to read the rest of this, you can pause the video and read that. But she gives her Instagram. There's a little QR code here if you would like to scan it with your phone. It should take you directly there. This is her Facebook page, and then she also has a YouTube channel if you would like to check that out. She also does have a Facebook group. So this book is going to be full of beautiful Victorian girls. The pages are going to be one-sided. I really love that when books are only one-sided because if you would like to use markers, you can slide a piece of paper behind here and use markers or whatever mediums you like. So in this book, you're going to find lots of gorgeous women with beautiful dresses. Look at her dress. And then here we have one that is a side profile portrait. Lots of background space for you to bring in other mediums. Here we have one that has a gorgeous border around it with lots of little flowers. Now she looks like she's just looking in the mirror and admiring her dress. <laughs> I love that. But if you are a beginner and you're wanting to learn how to color clothing, the dresses in this book are absolutely beautiful. Not only are you coloring clothing, you're getting to practice your techniques on skin and hair and you don't have a whole lot of skin to color here and you don't have a whole lot of hair to color here either so this would be a much better choice than picking up a book that has nothing but portraits in it where you would just be totally overwhelmed now this one has a lot of things going on in the background it's got a gorgeous vanity back there she has a beautiful dress a bouquet of flowers here's another one that will allow you to practice with other mediums if you'd like to. We've got lots of background space here and her dress has all of these intricate designs on it. Look how beautiful that is. And I love her hat with all those big flowers on it. So in this one, we not only have the gorgeous girl in her Victorian dress, she's sitting on this antique couch. We've got a floor with lots of details. You can make that look like a marble floor. I love that. I'm seeing a lot of gold in the framing of the window. And then we've got these gorgeous draperies back here. Those would be beautiful in gold as well. Then we have one that has a little bit of scenery behind the Victorian girl, which is really nice. You have this little bench right here. And then we have a Victorian house here in the background lots of background space. You can color that in as if it was the sky. You could even create your own sun or have some sun reflecting off the back of the house if you wanted to. Oh, and I love this one because we actually have a gentleman in a coloring book. <laughs> How often do we see that? So we've got the girl here in her gorgeous 
Victorian dress. All of the dresses in this book are so different and so unique. So you would have so much fun coloring some of the dresses in here. We've got her bouquet sitting here on the little side table. And it looks like they're just posing for a picture before they get ready to go out for a night on the town, possibly. <laughs> Lots of background space. We've got some pictures back here in the background as well. But it does look like a lot of these are women posing in their beautiful Victorian dresses as though they're posing for a camera. But I love how all of the backgrounds in every one of them are completely different. Oh, this one is gorgeous. Again, we have another window with some really beautiful draperies back here. Oh, I love those. I see glitter pens on these little tassel-y things that are hanging down here. We've got a standing vase over here with some roses in it, and it looks again like she's just posing here on this couch in her beautiful dress. It looks like maybe she's sitting just having some tea. We've got some little cherries on the table, some flowers over here. I love all the additions of the flowers, but y'all know how much I absolutely love flowers. So she's just sitting here in the chair. She's got her adorable little cat and her dog down here. Again, lots of scenery. We have a fountain with some trees in the background. Now this Victorian girl is just standing in front of a house. So we've got again more scenery. We have lots of grass we can color and you can be super detailed with this grass. I actually have a tutorial showing you how to use Prismacolors along with fine liners to create realistic looking grass and I'll try to link that in the upper right hand corner for you if you'd like to check that out. Oh I love this one. I love the expression on her face. She just looks happy. <laughs> And I love all the intricate details on her dress. Look at these big, beautiful sleeves she has. I see lots of gel pens on all of these little details on her dress. She even has some flowers on her hat. Oh, look at the dress on this one. I absolutely love this. Oh my gosh, and again, we have scenery. We've got a little dog down here. Lots of stones you can color or pebbles on the ground. Here we have another Victorian girl sitting on an antique looking couch. She's got her cute little cat here, and then she has has some scenery or a building sitting behind her. We have another one that is a gorgeous portrait. Look at all of those flowers on her hat. This is beautiful. Again, the details on the clothes are just wow. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And then in all of her books, she is going to have some bonus pages. So here we're going to have six bonus pages from some of her other books. Look at the adorable little dogs. This one has a Victorian hat and it looks like what could be pearls around his neck. <laughs> so cute. So this one is from her Sweet Dreams coloring book, which is absolutely adorable. Look at the little cupcakes and candies and such on her dress. And then we have a margarita over here, <laughs> some flowers. And then this one says it's from her book Rainbow. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I've seen quite a few of her books, but I don't think I've ever seen that one. But we've got a beautiful peacock here and look at her dress. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And then lots of things in the background for you to color. Here is an example of her grayscale now. I love her grayscale because I feel like it is not too light and it's not too dark. To me, it's absolutely perfect. And it makes it so that when you lay your pen pencils down, you can see your pencils really, really well, but yet you could still see where the darkest grayscale is and the medium grayscale is, and then, of course, the white or the lightest areas in the image for you to know exactly where to lay your pencils. Now this one is from her birds book. This would be a super quick color. Just a few flowers and leaves and then the gorgeous bird here in the center. This one is from her ladies of nature coloring book which is also a grayscale coloring book. And then she also has a fairies book. So this is one of the images from her fairies coloring book which is of course line art. This one is from Christmas Surprise and I do have a flip through on my channel from her Christmas Surprise coloring book. It's a really nice coloring book. And then your second set of pages is going to begin here. So all of the rest of the pages are just going to be the same as what we've already seen. And then of course this is an Amazon printed book so it will tell you made in the USA and where it was printed and then it will give you a date. This one was printed on April 25th, 2023. So if you ever want to know which one of your books were actually Amazon printed or on the Amazon paper, they will always have this in the back. 
because they are actually printed on demand when you order them. And here is the back of the book and it just shows you some of the images that are contained within the book. And then down here it gives you her website. But this was Victorian Coloring Book by Alina Lazareva. This next one we're going to look at is called Dreams and this is a grayscale coloring book. Again you're going to get two full sets of images. This one is going to have 20 illustrations and you're getting a light grayscale and then a darker grayscale. And then in the back of the book we're going to have a bonus so we're going to get five extra pictures from some of her other coloring books. And then again here we're going to have all of the same information on this first page as we had on the previous coloring book. This one does mention that she has a Patreon. She may have actually moved over to Patreon. I think the previous book that we viewed was an older book so it still had on there that she had an Etsy shop. I think that her Etsy shop may have been shut down so if you would like to support her you can go to her patreon and again all of the pages are going to be one-sided so if you would like to bring other mediums in aside from your colored pencils you can surely do that oh I love this one look at this girl and then she's just got flying bunnies <laughs> holding fruit that is so creative. So just like the title says, you're going to get lots of images that you would perhaps see in a dream. But we've got a girl on a boat reading a book and it looks like she's got balloons holding her up. And then we've got again lots of background space. Here's another one where we have quite a bit of background space. And lately I've really been enjoying doing backgrounds and just bringing in other mediums. I've done a couple backgrounds recently and I do have tutorials for those. I was finally able to get out my distress sinks and have enough to be able to use to create a background. I do have an entire playlist of nothing but backgrounds. So if you're someone who's interested in wanting to learn how to use other mediums and apply those to backgrounds, you can check that playlist out. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner. This one looks like it's kind of like a floating world. <laughs> That is really, really neat. And then we have this girl here laying on what looks to be possibly a fox. We've even got some balloons back, right back here and a castle. And I absolutely love her grayscale. You could see that her grayscale in these books is not too light. It is actually the perfect value to be able to lay down your colored pencils so that you could see your colored pencils and be able to cover it with your colored pencils and not have to use markers. Look at the llama. <laughs> Oh, how super cute. Look at all the flowers. Oh, I love this one. And these are super quick colors, some of these. This one would definitely be <laughs> a cat with a fish. And the fish is a balloon holding a lighthouse with some boats down here. <laughs> Again, lots of background space so that you could experiment. Now this one is super interesting. It looks like she is standing in her room or something with her dog. I would assume it's a dark room because she's got her lantern, but there is a fish up here in the water from the ocean where the fish is is actually dripping into what would be her room. I don't know, y'all. There's so much that you could do with this page. So this is half cat and half mermaid, possibly. <laughs> with a bunch of little houses on the cat's back. That one is super interesting. <laughs> very, very imaginative. Oh, this is cute. And she's holding the cherries up by her ears. <laughs> and she has fruit in her hair, some grapes, and some apples. And then we've got what is probably some orange slices down here and lots of leaves. And then this one is super creative. It looks like a whale world or something. <laughs> It's just a picture of a whale with a lighthouse up here on the top of his tail. We've got balloons. It looks like the balloons are holding him up in the air. And then we've got like a little city over here. Oh, now this one is gorgeous. I love this one. Look at her gorgeous dress with all of the flowers and all of the intricate detail in her hair. Lots of background space. Then we have a girl on top of another floating world playing her flute with a tree in the background. And then another girl girl with cactuses and we've got a little bird to color and a little cat sitting back here. Oh and a little bunny again down here with some wings. 
And then we have a girl playing the violin. We've got some fruit back here, leaves to color. And she's just sitting over here in her gorgeous dress, propped up on top of these big, huge leaves. Oh my goodness, and look at her shoe. They look like elf shoes. That is so cool. Okay, and then we get to the bonus pages and you're gonna get five of her pages from some of her other books. So this one is from her fashion book, which is a line art coloring book. This one is from her pirates book, which is a grayscale coloring book. Now this one looks like it's a little bit of a darker grayscale, but whether her grayscale is darker or lighter, her grayscale is never too dark. I love the value of her grayscale. This one is from Christmas Surprise. We had another sample page from her Christmas Surprise book in the previous book as well. And again, I do have a review and flip through of that book on my channel. This one again is another one from her birds coloring book. If you enjoy coloring birds, you can have a whole book of nothing but birds. I really enjoy coloring birds. I love all the colors that you can add and combine and putting together color combinations and all of that. It's so much fun. And then this one is from her Victorian line art coloring book that we just looked at. And then you're gonna have the second set of pages here. This one is going to be all a darker grayscale. So I'll show you what that darker grayscale looks like, but it is going to be a little bit darker, but still not too dark. So if you're a beginner, you may prefer this line art. And if you are someone who has been coloring for quite a while and you're pretty much used to grayscale and you sort of kind of wanna do your own thing as well, I would probably use the lighter grayscale grayscale. But the darker grayscale is perfect for beginners because it really helps you to see where the darker values of the grayscale are and then the medium values of the grayscale and then of course the much lighter values of the grayscale. So you know exactly where to lay your darkest colors, your midtones, and your lightest colors. Let me do a little bit of a comparison from the darker grayscale to the lighter grayscale. Okay, so I wanted to do it with my favorite page. I absolutely love this llama. <laughs> But this is the darker gray scale and then the lighter gray scale. And you can see that the darker gray scale is only a tad bit darker. It is not much darker at all. So I don't think it would really make a difference. But on this one, you can see the darker gray scale and the midtones quite a bit more. And for all of the little details here on the llama, where we've got all these little lines that will really help you to know where to lay all of these little details when you're trying to create a little bit of fur, you can see all of those a little bit better on the darker gray scale. But if you are using the Amazon books to scan them in and print them out, I would probably take the copy from the darker gray scale version and use those to print out on your own paper. I use my coloring books all of the time to scan into my computer and to make a copy of and then to print out on my own paper, the Spring Hill paper or whatever paper I choose to use. And then this is the back cover. It shows us all of the images that are contained within the book. Again, two full sets of 20 images. And then in this one, you're gonna get the lighter gray scale and the darker gray scale. So I hope y'all enjoyed the flip throughs of both of these coloring books. I really enjoyed looking through these. There's some beautiful images in these coloring books. I will have the links down below where you can find them. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Happy coloring, bye.